If there is one thing that pro wrestling has no shortage of, it would be stories. Pro wrestling has been the vehicle for many people to tell many stories, but every once in a while the stories can transcend from being a simple wrestling story to something much more important. The stories pro wrestling can tell are numerous and varied. Stories of championships won. Stories of some of the most dastardly people to ever walk the planet. And in some instances, stories of finding kindness in a cruel world. Throughout wrestling channels, on any platform, including this one, it is easy to find heaps of videos going out of their way to tell you how awful some people involved in the wrestling industry are to each other. Today, we will be going in the other direction. Today, we are going to talk about Vicky Lyons. One of the best wrestling stories I, I've ever heard. I mean, uh, maybe this isn't a good idea. I don't know. Somebody's getting a little emotional here. And I went to headline news thinking maybe they had something and said they had forensic files on. Mm -hmm. And uh, immediately I was uh, drawn into this drawn into a story about a four-year-old girl who'd been brought into work because her mother could not find a uh, babysitter. Uh, the boss insisted that she, you know, the the child play in the parking lot. The driver of the vehicle, in a rush, backed out over Vicky in the unpaved, bumpy parking lot. And I went behind this truck. I was just playing in the sand. The mother protested, and yet when she came out like a minute later, here's her four-year-old daughter laying down. Mm. Uh, uh, strange marks on her face, which the mother of the presence might take photos of in the in the hospital. Every forensic files I've ever seen deals with a deceased subject, mm -hmm. and yet this subject struggled mightily but did not die mm. and was even interviewed later on in the uh, in the show and she had extreme difficulty talking. She talked mm. out of one side of her mouth, one of her eyes looked like it was greatly damaged at best and yet she uh, was this really brave young woman and I was really touched by how hard she'd struggled and then the uh, the show ends with the, uh, the you know, the uh, update that the mother is now going to, uh, you know, forensic, uh, studying forensics, forensic science, because uh, she had helped, you know, they been able to determine that the marks on her face were tire marks and that she'd been oh, wow. run over. It was an extraordinary story, yeah. but where it takes a turn, where it takes a really strange turn, and I know that people are watching, this doesn't sound like such a great story, and why are you telling us about forensic files? The last, this last thing they put up is that um, Vicki Lyons died in 2011. Unlike most things, we go, oh, it's a shame what's on now. I went, I want to find out more about this person. So I put in Vicki Lyons, you know, and up pops photos, you know, and it's clearly that, that young lady and a wrestling video. It says Vicki Lyons versus Daphne. And I thought, well, that's clearly somebody else. <laughs> She's not a wrestler, you know? Yeah. And then when I look up cause of death or obi obituary, it said Vicki Lyons had told the story that for the last six years had trained to be a wrestler with oh, high spots wow. wrestling. Vicki was a huge wrestling fan through her life. And even though most would never think it possible for her, she wanted to be a pro wrestler. Vicky had spent a lot of her life not enjoying being around people because of her condition. I don't always get out that much because I don't like how people make me feel. But she began to see a way out of that mindset through pro wrestling and started to make friends as well as train to one day hopefully get into the ring in front of a crowd. And it was just me and this trainee named Vicky, who sat, who passed away a uh, few years ago. She passed away. She passed away. Now, the, the, the thing about Vicky is she was hit by a, a, a was it, an 18-wheeler tractor trailer, whatever it was. Oh, she was four years old. 
Oh, so she would. That's how she died. No, 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 no. She was four years old and she survived. She pulled through. She was severely handicapped. Couldn't walk, you know, completely straight. You know, had kind of a lisp and, you know, but she still got there and trained and bumped and everything. And for at least six months, it was just me and Vicky mm -hmm. the whole time. And we're just we're going back and forth. And if I if I took a hip toss from her and then got up kind of slow, she would call me a pussy and tell me to get up. Yeah. It's like, well, all right, well, if I can't say anything to right, you. Right, of course. Like, you win. So. Were you close to that? Or are you like? I mean, yeah. obviously you're sad that she passed. Yeah. Um, that was like your person though, right? Yeah, and for a month at a time, just me and Vicky all the time, and I would take her home after each training session. So we were actually pretty pretty close. How did she pass? She passed in her sleep. Uh, you know, with her health issue complications, she um. I, I, if I remember correctly, it was a brain aneurysm that took her when she when she went to sleep. So it just caught, it all caught up with her. Kind it, of all, thing? it all caught up with her. Did she want to be like a big star? Was she? Or yeah. She just wanted to just hang out and do wrestling. No, she wanted to wrestle all the time. She wanted to be in front of people, and uh, she's only she she trained for about six years and only got three matches. Huh. All was with. Oh uh, man, she was the lioness of the ring, Vicky Lyons. Okay. That's yeah, nice. yeah, and. Uh, I think all three of her matches were against Daphne. All right, so I go back to the video, and uh, and what was remarkable is that as soon as they put it on, it was like you know she didn't she looked like she worked really hard. It was small a small gym, but they had a little commentary and they said that Vicky Lyons overcome a lot of personal adversity. I go, it's the same person. Wow, it's the same person, and. Uh, and, and she clearly had a lot of trouble, and Daphne was clearly, you know, like, helping her, mm -hmm. and balance was really an issue. And the, you know, the finish would be, as you know, that people like to say now, like technically maybe it was a botch. Uh, the reason it was a botch is because she didn't know she was going over. And I did a little more research and it said, you know, said like I, somebody said, yes, she trained for six years. I think she only had three or four matches and they were all with Daphne. And Daphne was one of those people who would fall in the label of someone who was a good friend who I'd fallen out of touch with. I went on Vicki Lyon's Twitter and a lot of her messages were to Daphne. I saw, you know, Daphne still followed me on Twitter. I said, could you? maybe tell me a little bit more about Vicki Lyons. She seemed to be a friend of yours. And she got back to me and said, she was my best friend. Wow. I've got her ashes, you know, they're still with her. And I said, do you want to, like you said, no one talks anymore. Like, hey, do you want to talk on the phone? Mm -hmm. And we had the nicest talk. And it was such a empowering talk. You're reestablishing a friendship that you, you take for granted in this business. We take our friendship for granted in the wrestling business quite a bit. But I said, yeah, I heard that you know, she only had three or four matches and Daphne said, one, like, that, that was, was it. it. That was it, one match in six years. And she said, um, she used to go over, hang out, she loved her energy. And uh, Daphne said, hey, man, so you want to go to the mall? And the girl got, like confused but also touched. She was like, what do you mean? She said, we're gonna go to the mall. And, and she looked at that and said, you'll, like basically, you don't mind being seen with me because she'd grown up where people were embarrassed to be around her. I don't always get out that much because I don't like how people make me feel. be dead, mm -hmm. then she wasn't that supposed to talk, she wasn't supposed to walk. I don't think anyone would have thought she would, uh, you know, struggle so mightily to achieve a goal like that. It also made me realize, geez, Daphne was so good. And she had that commitment to character, mm -hmm. and she went in a direction that no one else did, and uh, came along a little too early, you know, mm -hmm. if, I, if I think at that time, you know, the. the the idea was, well, you can't be a WWE diva and look like that. Mm -hmm. but I thought she was really a groundbreaker. Loved uh, watching her get into that character, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, thinking back, I was like, yeah, I, you know, when I was in TNA, I was like, I definitely want Daphne to be part of what I'm doing, mm -hmm. and she was a really valuable part of it. So thank you, Daphne.
Even though Vicki Lyons was dealt a very bad hand, she made the most of it in her life, and you can only find glowing reviews of her character online. She was kind to those in her wrestling classes and anyone else she met because she was grateful they would be nice enough to meet her. Through her friendship with Daphne, she was able to come out of her shell and build enough self-confidence to be more outgoing in her later years, as well as get her dream of participating in a wrestling match. She was happy to go into the match and lose, but Daphne holding her hand during the roll-up and not kicking out so she could be surprised was just another reason why Daphne was so beloved in wrestling. She really cared about those around her and making things special for them. Both Daphne and Vicky are gone now, and as easy as it would be to let their memory fade or dwell on the circumstances of their passing, I think it is far more important to focus on how they lived their lives and treated those around them. More importantly, I think their story deserves more people being aware of it and how great these two people were. As divisive and unpleasant as wrestling can be at times, I think we need to put more emphasis on its ability to bring people together and make dreams come true.